G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, today I was just having a look at Antonio's last couple of videos and he's gone off and doing a drop experiment debunk and well, basically he just built himself a... Antonio, what do you call those logical fallacies again? And that's called a straw man argument. When you bring an argument that hasn't been made and you then demolish it. Okay, let's just skip through to 22 minutes and 28 seconds where he starts his screenshot. And you'll notice that it's 4.7 seconds free full time, not 4.5. I think Antonia has dyscalculia. Have you ever noticed how many times he gets numbers wrong? In this weightless state condition, a camera recorded everything by making 25 photographs per second. Ooh, a camera that takes 25 images per second. Oh, that's a video. Isn't that what you mean, Antonio? You're just trying to make this sound scientific. Okay, let's just address this tower thing. So the inside of the uh, capsule is 0.8 of a meter. It's 2.5 meters long. And the inside of the bore of the drop tower is 3.5 meters. So there's a lot of room there for it to move up and down inside of. And the outside of the tower is eight meters in time. So we don't need to worry about that. And they seem to average about one or two tests per day. So obviously their time on their testing is precious and they don't want to muck around with silly or frivolous things. Yes, I see you're going to make another straw man, but okay, let's have a go at this. Yes, the distance at the surface and the distance at the tower top are different due to rotation. Did you calculate how much? So the circumference is 40,075 kilometers same. And if you go up 110 meters, we multiply that by 2 by pi, 691 metres further. So that's uh, about 1 40,000th um, difference. So at 4.7 seconds, the tower has moved the same distance as the base, plus a little bit more. And that little bit more is 37 millimetres. And now if we adjust that for being at the 53 degrees north, where Bremen is, that comes out to be just 22 millimetres. So... A one millimeter wide capsule inside a three and a half millimeter bore which moves 22 millimeters sideways guess what antonio no wizard needed so on the experiment itself no scientist would touch a video like that because it a it doesn't define where the launch time starts doesn't define the free fall doesn't define the landing nothing's marked there's no repeats it's just a really pretty but meaningless video in fact An antonio because you tried to make a straw man out of it and you failed and you got it so horribly wrong, what would you actually call a person who does that sort of thing? A dim dim? And another thing finally, we don't really need to have that sort of tower to do those sort of microgravity experiments. We have the ISS and it's been doing those sorts of experiments 24-7 for many, many years. And you know, we don't see things all running to the different ends of the ISS depending on their density or their metal composition or their atomic sub numbers or whatever so okay all right it's good all is right with the world of physics still sorry antonio to deny you a straw man yet again oh and one final final thing antonio when are you going to do the red tube experiment critical things waiting okay so if you like that how about you click and share and subscribe and be the first to get in on the next fun little adventure into destroying the flat earth now while you're doing that i'm going to literally destroy this little thing here